All because I wanted to sit somewhere and this man would not let me sit. Hey guys, it's your girl Gina Ross, your queen and melanin boss, back at it again with another video. It feels so good to say that because I want to remain consistent for you guys. The last video I posted was two weeks ago. I got a lot of feedback from that, but we're not going to talk about that in this video. If you are coming back, welcome back. And if this is your first time, welcome. If you would like to join the Ross family, just hit the subscribe button down below. It's not that hard. If you want to be part of the Ross family, why not? Welcome. We, we, we take people. As you can see by the title of this video, this is the story time of the time I fought my teacher. <laughs> Saying that out loud doesn't make me look good. Listen, hear me out. I'm not even going to talk too much anymore about what the story isn't about, so let's get right into the video. Okay, so this all started in the 8th grade. Yes, the 8th grade. How old was I? Like, 13? So, um, I remember this day, my teacher, my homeroom teacher, who was also my social studies teacher, did not come. So, um, that day, um, our, our schedule was set up where we had social studies and then homeroom. Homeroom is usually like 10 minutes long. If, um, I don't know how, you know, homeroom still works now or even if they have homeroom now, but homeroom is like 10 minutes long to just wrap up your day or whatever. Oh, but my teacher wasn't there. Remember, she's my teacher for social studies and for homeroom. Okay, she wasn't there. So, we had a sub. When she came in, all everybody started moving with their friends to go sit down, you know. It's no class, like it's a free period. So I started to move my seat to my friends. Now, back in middle school, I didn't have many friends. I got bullied, and that's another story time, so I won't get too much into that. So I only had about two people I could call friends, so I wanted to move my seat. But my homegirl, okay? So I did, and then there was a second teacher in the classroom, and he tells me, oh, I got to move my seat. Hmm? What do you mean I gotta move my... You don't see all these people moving? The actual teacher of the class don't have no problem with me moving my seat, but you do? So I'm like, no. The whole class get quiet. <laughs> the whole class gets quiet. So I put my seat down, and I proceed to go get a desk. I think this is kind of where I messed up, because I already have my seat, so it's just like, just sit down with your friend, you know what I'm saying? But I'm the type of person where I like to have something in front of me, like a desk. Um, even when like I'm eating, I can't eat out of my lap. I don't know how people do it. I cannot. If I'm not comfortable, I will not eat. So I get the, the desk and he calls my name and I'm just ignoring him because it's like everybody else moved their seat, so why can't I move my seat? You know what I'm saying? So um so now I get the desk and he pulls it from on the other side of the desk, he pulls it. Now back when I was in middle school, we didn't have um the desk that's connected to the seat is it's not like that. It was the the seat and the desk. That was it. So he's pulling the desk away from me. So at this point, the desk is up in the air, about about two feet off of the ground, and we're like pulling it away from each other. So he finally lets go and he walks out of the classroom. And I'm like, okay, like I know I was gonna get a call home, but I didn't even care because I was so upset the fact that like I was the only one that was told like I can't move my seat like you about to make me sit by myself in a place where I already get bullied and you tell me I have to sit by myself you're one of the bullies too but anyway I now sit down another 10 minutes go by and the assistant principal comes it's quiet again <laughs> she's like Eugenia let's go walk with her to her office she's like what happened I explained everything I just told you guys Except for the fact that I feel like what I, I was also at fault with was I never ever mentioned throughout this whole entire process that I'm about to explain to you, I never mentioned that um, the teacher, the actual teacher was okay with it. That was my fault. I just think it's just being a kid and not knowing that you really have to admit nothing from your story. You have to tell everything. But God worked it out in your hand, how? Huh? Um, they called my dad, I'm pretty sure, because when I got home, I got, like, barked at, like, why would you be um, pulling a, the desk from the teacher, da, 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 and just, you know, the whole nine. I was only 13, but I think I was a 13-year-old girl. What are you struggling a desk with me for? Like, grow up. Like, you're a grown man. He wasn't a tall man or anything, but the fact that you are a male and you're trying to 
restrain a death from a 13 year old girl like where are your morals so she tells me oh are you sure that's all that happened and I'm like yeah what do you what do you mean and she's like well if you look she had a hand out like this if you look right here his finger is like bent to this way and it turned blue and it's swollen and I'm like what like he didn't even yell out a ow or nothing like nobody knew what happened like and the way he walked out the classroom it was just a straight walkout not nothing that you know signaled that he was in pain or anything like that so it was just like huh when she told me i was confused i'm just like what in the world are you talking about we were both pulling deaths and it's just like i couldn't have been pulling that hard because somehow i, I feel like i would have got injured too i was smaller than him i believe I was only 13, I didn't have that much strength. So I'm just like, um, maybe he held the desk the wrong way? That could have been his karma now thinking about it, that was probably his karma. She was like, oh, his his finger was like twisted and blue and swollen. And I'm just like, what? Like, I didn't do that. I didn't even know that happened. Long story short, can't remember how I knew. But I got suspended and it was a superintendent suspension. It wasn't a regular suspension where you, you know, get a little three days and then you return back to school. No, I got a superintendent suspension where it usually ranges from 30 to like 90 or I think 120 days and you serve that time in a, an alternative site. All because I wanted to sit somewhere and this man would not let me sit. So with these suspensions, there are these uh, court cases it's not an actual court you literally sit in the room with the person and the dean of the school because they got to issue the um they have to issue the suspension or whatever and yeah so the judge was so nasty and so rude t to to me yeah but to my dad especially and it's just like mm, if i was my age now i probably would have had some words for her. i forgot to mention this again at this time we are preparing for, this was the, I want to say the middle of May. So we are, back when I was in middle school, we had portfolios and it was for math and for English. Just to prove your readiness for high school. I don't know how they do it anymore, but that's what we had to do. It, was, it wasn't really any work pertaining, like, uh, how do I put it? The other subjects, it wasn't taken so heavily. Like, we had to finish those portfolios. It had to be approved. If we didn't do something right, we had to redo it, then have a final copy. And it was like 10 assignments. And we put all those assignments in a folder. On the folder, you have a checklist of each of the 10 assignments. It has to be signed. It was so much. Just to go to high school. We were all suffering. <laughs> it was so much work. So, now, we're at the court. Uh case and like I said she was being really rude with my dad or whatever because um I guess you needed to have legal representation so he stepped in as that person for me and I was just like she was just being so rude and I felt like she did that because my dad has an accent and a lot of people do that they hear an accent on a person and they automatically think oh this person didn't go to school my dad is a degree holder a double degree holder don't ever get it twisted period like I said, it's usually a minimum of 30 days that the suspension holds, but we were in the middle of May, you know, the school year ends in June, and everybody's preparing for graduation, doing graduation rehearsals. I remember they were calling my house for, for me to come to my school to do graduation rehearsals, but I'll get into that in a minute. Um, so I guess with everything that she got, the suspension was supposed to be till the end of the year. And I think in her mind, she wanted to give me the evilest thing because this is eighth grade. Technically, they couldn't even suspend me more than that. I just remembered it was eighth grade. They can't suspend me more than that. So it was just till, until the end of the year suspension. And I was like, cool, whatever. I'll go finish my portfolio there. I, I don't know nobody so I can start clean. At least nobody will bully me here. I'll be fine, you know? I get there and these people don't do no work. We was in the yard for like hours at a time playing double dutch. I was one of the good, I wasn't a bad kid. That's the thing, I wasn't a bad kid. So when I was among these kids that were actually bad, I was the good kid. Like me and this other girl, so like we was, we would get like pizza and like 
when other people did have to do work, it wasn't even excessive because the end of the year, there's not much work to do, you know what I'm saying? When they did have to do work, we didn't have to do it. And it was just like, it was literally fun. I, I had fun going to school. I, the people actually liked me. You know, I was just like, okay, so it wasn't me in middle school. Like, I wasn't the issue. I wasn't the issue. So, um, yeah. And that was, I feel like that was God just, uh, you know, showing, turning the bad into good. Because I had to um, not do any work while everybody was struggling to do their portfolio. And I didn't have to do that anymore. Um, my mother didn't want me to go to graduation. I didn't want to go neither. I ain't like nobody. So what was the point of me going? My diploma, who knows where that is. It don't matter because I'm in college now. But who knows where that is. The school closed down because of how bad the school was. So everything worked out for my favor. Like everybody was just struggling, eighth grade trying to get stuff together. And I had to do that. I didn't have to do none of that. I was having fun. Actually, I feel like the best experience I had throughout throughout my middle school experience, or career, or whatever you want to call it. I literally loved it there. That brings me to the end of my story. If you enjoyed the story, give it a thumbs up. And again, to join the Ross family, all you got to do is subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and uh, see you guys in the next one. Bye.